When I was just a wee bit younger, I always heard that conservation is a must. With the consistent growth in oil prices, clearly that still stands. As individuals, we have no control over fuel prices, but we most certainly can be more efficient in how we use energy to reduce our light bill. Yes, you guessed it. Today on Let's Talk, we talk about conservation. Follow me inside and I will carry you through some of the steps that help us all to conserve and save energy and money. As cute as she is, she's helping to send up your light bill. The refrigerator accounts for 50% of your electricity bill. Always try to decide what you want before opening the refrigerator. Do not stand in front of the fridge with the door open trying to remember or decide what you want. Always try to cool the food to at least room temperature before putting it inside the fridge. Now the seals on the door have to be tight to ensure that the cold air is not escaping. Your seals may need replacing if they are cracked or if your refrigerator sighs or hisses at you. Defrost as often as possible. The more frost that builds up, the harder the fridge has to work. Mmm, lunch looks delicious. But your stove isn't just there to provide you with delicious meals. It can also help you to conserve if used properly. Clean range top burners and reflectors regularly to ensure better heating and lower energy use. Never cook very small portions in very large pots. Come, let's take a look at how we can save some energy in the living room. Your lights are very important. They can contribute to up to 25% of your light bill. I'm sure you've heard it before. Replace regular light bulbs with fluorescent ones. It is extremely important that you take this piece of advice. For though the fluorescent bulbs may be more expensive, they pay for themselves over time as they last up to 8 times longer than regular light bulbs. If you use security lighting on the outside of your property, use photoelectric lighting controls which turn your lights off automatically at daybreak. So even if you're rushing and forget to turn them off, they will do it automatically. Pretty cool, huh? Always remember to turn off all lights and electrical appliances that are not being used, even if you plan to come back to the room. Anything can happen and you will then be delayed, so prevention better than cure. Some general tips to remember when considering conservation are, iron once per week, switch on your electric water heater a half an hour before you are ready to use it and switch off immediately after you are done. If you used it in the morning, there is no need to turn it back on in the evening as the heater warms the water to a certain temperature and maintains it once the water hasn't been used. Now, air conditioners are very convenient and fun to have, especially during the summer months. However, your AC unit is another appliance that will make those figures climb. Heat from appliances or from outside can cause the unit to work harder and longer than necessary. Sometimes you can substitute with a fan. I know that's a mouthful, but hey, conservation results in savings, so let's all try our best to use energy as efficiently as possible. And don't forget, for more information, feel free to call JPS Customer Care Center at 1-888-225-5577. Until we meet again on Let's Talk, I'm Allison.